a while back I was using the automatic quill feed from my Bridgeport mill. My clutch rod wound up getting uh, stuck and um, anyway that worm feed shaft had kind of moved out of position I noticed so I wanted to pull loosen up the screws that hold that worm feed shaft in place and pull it back to its original position to kind of get all the gears and everything to mesh in there. The problem that I encountered was at the hand wheel clutch um, there's a little steel bearing that goes in there and it interfaces with the shaft and it keeps the uh, hand wheel clutch from being able to be, be pulled off. Um, so I tried to get that out and I was unable to. Here's what it looks like. Um, I read on Practical Machinists and a few other websites that a lot of other people uh, have trouble getting that, that ball bearing out so that they can access uh, some of the underlying components for maintenance and adjustment. This short clip shows the clutch rod and the, uh, the, the hand wheel that interfaces with that ball bearing right there. And so you kind of see how the assembly fits together and how that ball bearing bulks the hand wheel clutch from coming off. So apparently um, gunk and debris, old oil and other um, contaminants, they can get kind of caked up in that hole and prevent that bearing from being able to be pulled out. Um, so I'm going to show like a pretty simple procedure that I used to blow it out. I tried a bunch of different tricks at the beginning and I really couldn't get uh, any to work. Um, the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is take this um, this selector off of the uh, of the rod. Next you're going to get a small section of hose. I believe this was a Harbor Freight 3H inch uh, pneumatic air hose. All right, you're going to take the hose and just slip it over the clutch rod like I'm doing here. Uh, make sure you get it on there pretty good. Make sure it seals around the edges. And then I use some shop air. Um, like I just use a little air gun like the one I'm showing. Stick it in the end and then I uh, give it a blast of air. Now, I tried this initially and it didn't work on its own. What I had to do is I called, well, I, I sprayed some WD-40 and PD, PB blaster into the um, into the rod. I let it sit overnight and then the next day I got a little help from my wife. Um, she used this needle you see here to kind of dig around the ball bearing and try to loosen up some of the grit and the gunk while I blasted air through the hose. It ended up working and the bearing shot across the garage. Um, we stopped all work on this and obviously uh, started looking for the bearing on the floor and eventually found it. Ultimately, I was able to get everything back apart and um, made some minor adjustments uh, to the clutch assembly and what the exact position of that rod. And I was able to get the, um, the auto quill feed to work, as you can see here. I really struggled with this. It took me like a couple days to figure out how to get it out of there, um, some reading. So I hope this saves somebody some time that's going through the same uh, issues. Anyway, if you liked the video or got anything out of it, hit subscribe. If you would have went about this a different way or if you have any other tips uh, for doing this, just drop them in the comments down below.